Hi, good morning. I'm Marcel. This is Sean. And we are teaching here each day from 7 to 7.40 live on Twitch. Other than that, uh, the videos are also available on YouTube. Welcome. So please uh, come to sit if you like to enjoy a yoga, yoga class with me. The yoga class lasts for 40 minutes, so good to have you here. So breathe in deeply. When you are in, when you arrived at your sit, make it comfortable anytime it feels uncomfortable. You're welcome to change your sit. Place your right hand on the belly, left hand on the breast, on the breast, the chest. Breathe in first into your belly, and then into your chest. Deeply into your belly and then in your chest. And when you breathe in, what happens with your spine? Is your spine getting longer? Maybe. Breathe in really deep and see what happens. What happens with your awareness? Are you in this moment or are you more in your thoughts? Breathe in really deeply and let go. One last time, really deep. of the arms and direct your breath with the hands so like a dirigent in the orchestra breathe in deeply when and raise your hands then breathe in deeply breathing out letting go Keep on going, get it longer through the spine when you breathe in, so feel yourself drawn up from a rope that is attached through your head, at your head and is pulling you up. Awesome, release the hands. And just bring a little bit of movement into your shoulders as it feels good for you. Go maybe with your breath, go slow, go faster. You can also place your hands at the over the knees if you're in a cross leg position. Kind of go forward and back with the hands. circle the shoulders do what feels good to you and five four three two one good job let's go to all fours and today we are going to fly high fly high as a kite um, in all fours, make sure that the shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees. Breathe in deeply. Raw arc from the lower back slowly up, breathing in. Breathing out, slowly down. 
Vertebra by vertebra. Go with your own breath. With the rhythm of your own breath. Up, breathing in. Down, breathing out. Job and start going a little bit more side to side with your hips. You go a little bit crazy, you can bend the elbows here, you can shift yourself completely back, you can kind of circle it, you can make kind of like a snakeish movement with, with your upper body <laughs> possible. Can relax your head. Can come forward, more forward into a more back band like shape. Today we're exploring a lot of back bands that let us leave slowly the floor and come into the air. And at the end, we're going to root down again, connecting with our feet. Make sure we land softly after the lesson. So good. Let's warm up a little bit more. So come into a good alignment here. Place your toes on the floor and lift the knees up. Draw the belly in and up a little. And just keep this position for some seconds, breathing in deeply as before. Good, touch down again, place the knees a little bit more further forward and shift the hips up into the sky. Come into downward facing down, starting to move our Heels up and down, downward facing dog. We want to make sure that our hands are really rooted to the floor. In the, the, the mounds of the fingers are pressing into the floor, especially the index finger mount. Make sure that this is the case. So these mounts here, pressing into the floor. And then, Shift the left leg a little bit more into the middle. Extend the right leg. Like straight, so hips are hips are straight. Your hip is straight here. Then breathe in deeply. Extend a little bit more. Breathe out. Bring the knee to the chest. Extend again. Breathing in, breathing out, bring the knee to the right elbow. Knee to the left, left elbow. Knee to the chest and circle it sideways back. Place it down. Let's change the sides. Make sure your muscles are activated in the hand, in the, in the arms. Extend the left leg, breathing in here deeply one time. And you breathe out, bring the knee to the chest. Standing again, breathing in, breathing out to the left elbow, to the right elbow. To the chest and circle it sideways back Whoop. and bring it down. Move again a little. 
Shift your heels down. Then shift your heels to the left side. Shift the hips back and feel a s strong stretch in the right side body. Don't go too far. Come back to the middle. Shift your heels to the right. Shift your hips back and feel a stretch through the left side body. Good. And come back. Place the knees down. Knees a little bit sideways to the mat. Big toes together. Shift yourself into a child's pose. Relax the head down. Good job for warming up a little. We warm up a little more. So come back into downward facing dog. Look forward to your hands and either step or jump forward. Come into a forward bend. Breathe in deeply. Bring your hands to the hips, elbows pointing up or come onto your knees. Breathing out, breathing in, extending. Hands into the sky. Bring the hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes for a moment. And release. Let's go. Two sand salutations here. Bring arms up. Slight back bend here. Just slight back bend. Good. Breathing out, coming forward. Breathing in. Raising halfway. Make sure your straight is your back is straight. Placing the hands on the floor, left leg back, right leg back, shift yourself back into downward facing dog. Breathing in, coming forward to plank position. Here you can go down with the knees or lift them up, come forward and down, making 90 degrees with the elbows, releasing the hips down, placing the feet on the floor, knees pushing into the floor, feet pushing into the floor, draw the belly in and up, come forward and up, keeping all this. Maybe just a little, and then shift yourself back to downward facing dog. Breathing in here, looking forward to your fingers, and either stepping or jumping forward. Release the body. Breathe in deeply, bring the hands to the hips, elbows pointing up, or come onto your knees and stand up. Extend the hands into the sky, breathe in deeply. Slight back bend and fall forward. Breathing out, breathing in, rise halfway. Breathing out, come down, place the hands on the floor, right leg back, left leg back, shift the hips back. Breathing in, come forward into plank position, either knees down or knees up, and shift yourself forward and down. Place the feet on the floor, knees pushing into the floor, feet pushing into the floor. Draw the belly in and up a little, and think forward and up, maybe just a small amount. And release. Shift yourself back into downward facing now. Moving in, looking forward to the fingers and either stepping or jumping forward. Release forward, moving in deeply, bring the hands to the hips, elbows pointing upward, they come more to your knees and stand up. Slight back bend here. Oh, good. Let's relax for a moment and just jump a little. Jump, 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 jump. So either jump from the feet up, so your feet are leaving the ground, or just jump, jump like a motion from the knees. It's also okay. Release the, 
Release the shoulders, release the neck maybe. <laughs> and feel how your body feels today. Does it hurt somewhere? What does feel good here? Maybe jump once more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Slowly come back. Three, two, smaller, smaller. One, and stop. Bring yourself again to the front of the mat, and we're just going down to, to do some more back bends preparation, and then we're going further. Breathing deeply, extend the hands, breathing out, coming down, placing the hands on the floor, stepping back, releasing yourself down in one way, just to the floor. So I shift through plank. You can do it your way releasing down completely placing the feet flat feet flat on the floor knees pushing into the floor now we want to shift our you can see it we want to shift our hands a little bit to the side and a little bit forward not too much still at the shoulder shoulder side shoulder chest side kind of the side of your shoulder and chest and then breathing in deeply lifting up just a little so you feel a small back bend breathing out breathing in again looking back to your left feet left foot left leg so turning a little bit sideways breathing in again looking back to the right foot Releasing, bringing one more time up. Pushing the feet into the floor. Breathing in, looking to the left leg. And one more time to the right. And releasing, bringing the hands again to the chest and Coming again up a little as before, just press in the feet to the floor, knees into the floor, draw the belly in and up, and draw yourself forward and up. Hands are at the chest, next to the chest. Maybe just come here and maybe go a little bit further if you like, if it does feel good to you, and release. Coming down, relax for a moment, just lie there, check in with your body. Good. Shift yourself back up to the knees. No, let's not do that. Um, yeah. No, I don't want to show that. Um, yeah, yeah, we can do it. Shift up to the knees. And big toes are either on the floor or flat, it's up to you. And we just hold on to our hips and we come into a slight back bend. So belly's engaged and come a little bit back. Not too far. If you, if you like to take it back or if you know you can do it, you can put your feet up. This is like a or maybe even easier, take a pillow or something. Bring the feet on the on the toes, and then shift yourself back, belly engaged. Hold on to the pillow, and then shift your 
Lift your hips forward. This is quite advanced, so you can also stay up here, just bending like this. If you know the pose already quite good, you can also take it away and, and go straight to the heels. Maybe grabbing around with them, or you can even release the feet and go there. But this is really, really deep then. So, uh, yeah, we have some time still left, that's good. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, extend the, extend the hands for it. You really maybe on the fingertips and just come into a more shoulder opening position here. You warm up the shoulders a little. Shift the hips a little bit back. Have the muscles also engaged through the arms. Hips kind of stay over the knees, but maybe a little bit back, just maybe. And then come up again. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're coming into the main pose for today. Release the hips down, come back, come down to the floor. And now we're going to do a Damarasana. Hey, remember this here? And I kind of love this pose. So knees are coming up, knees are not facing upward, knees are kind of like in line and parallel with each other. We want to keep this position here. And if you can grab on grab on to your sorry, grab on to your uh, ankles. And from there you want to just pull up or and draw up your front body still having the knees on the floor it's an important thing here at the moment knees on the floor breathing in deeply and coming to a, a little bit deeper back bend flying a little bit off the floor The knees still kind of parallel, breathing in deeply and releasing, coming back down. How does it feel? Smile a little, enjoy it. Enjoy this flying. And then we can attach again if you or if you're still attached on the on the ankles then it's all good. And we may raise up now the, the knees as well and we kind of go at the same point. So when we draw up we move the feet back and the front body up. So front body the muscles in the front body are also engaged. And you can really go and check where you arrive, wherever you arrive, wherever it feels good to you. That's the point to go and release again. I give you the time to try it out one more time. Maybe if it was too much to you too much for you don't don't go again just relax if it was too less then maybe go a little bit more <sighs> for the man it's always like a thing go a little bit less um, instead of pushing it further just go a little bit less maybe and check where you arrive go up again and release. Coming down. Bring yourself onto the back. Shift the 
lifting yourself onto the back. Coming to some some quite plank, some stretches here. But first, we're going to engage the whole body. So release the feet to the floor, release the arms to the floor, and start to engage from the feet up all the muscles that we have in our body, all the muscles get activated. <sighs> Breathe deeply. Maybe even come a little bit more up so you can activate more muscles, bend the knees, bend the elbows. And release. <sighs> How does that feel? And we go two more times like this, breathing in deeply and engage all the muscles, however you like. From Try to find more muscles to engage. Belly is engaged, thighs are engaged, toes are engaged even. And release done. Breathing in. Let's go one more time. Breathing. Let's go. <laughs> Breathing in, bringing up. Let's go ten seconds here. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's get down again. Extend the hands above your head. Here, really straight. Try to get straight through the right side. Extend the right leg. Extend the right hand. Extend the left leg. Extend the left hand and shift a little bit side to side so your hips are moving here good and release bring one leg up doesn't matter which one jaw grab on below the knee and bring it towards yourself or draw it a little bit towards yourself Maybe your shoulders are resting on the floor. Maybe they come up a little. Just be aware of that. Do you feel a stretch here? Where do you feel the stretch? Even deeply. And release the leg down. Bring the other leg up. Toes are engaged to our body, to ourself. Honoring that we took time for ourselves today. Took time to fly a little bit with our body. Now we come back slowly to the floor and touch down again. Connect with the floor. Release. Bring both feet a little bit closer to your mom. And from here we want to lift the elbows up, fingers pointing into the sky. And we slowly come up with the hips first, and vertebra by vertebra, we're going up into bridge pose. We begin deeply, keeping the knees together. So having a awareness of the knees that they're not going completely to the side, but keeping them together, having this intention there, and breathing in deeply. Don't look left or right here because that can put pressure on your neck. 
And then releasing slowly down again. Good. Yeah. Let's leave it here. Let's come to a to a wall of your choice. Hello. Hello, Nunobot. So, you're doing some... You need to come down from your Yeti and uh, join in on the poses. And get some stretch so you can throw some more snowballs. <laughs> so, good job. Also, so, let's come to the flo uh, wall. Extend the legs along the wall. Up on the wall. And this is variant 1. If you want to stay here, that's completely fine. This is an inversion. All the blood that is stuck in our toes is getting up in our body. And then we place our elbows next to our body. And we press in with the elbows. We shift the hips up slowly. And extend the, the feet if you like to. You don't need to go that far. You can also stay in variant 1. It's completely fine, it's completely good. In any case, if this starts hurting, then just come back down and lie on the floor. And here as well, if you're in this variant too here, you don't want to look left or right because you could injure your neck here. Breathe in deeply. We stay some more seconds here, then we're doing some breath work and then we're finishing up the lesson. Good job for doing something for yourself today. Bring your legs down here, slowly, slowly. Shift to your to a side and just lie on the floor, close your eyes and feel how the blood is flowing back into your legs. This should be a tingly feeling. So maybe it's a tingly feeling with you, maybe it's another feeling, I don't know. At least for me it's a tingly feeling like, yeah. Breathe in deeply and shift yourself back up. Come into a sit. And we're doing a um, breathing exercise. It's called square breathing. And in square breathing, uh, we're breathing like four cycles in, holding four cycles, breathing four cycles out, holding four cycles, and then restarting breathing in four cycles. So what we want to do first, we want to take a deep breath in, into your belly, into your chest. So let's go two times here and then we start. I will, I will uh, tell you how to do it. So breathe in deeply. Breathe out and breathe in one more time really deeply. Then we start. Breathing out and let's start. So breathing in, two, three, four. Holding the breath, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. Holding the breath, two, three, four. Breathing in again, two, three, four. Holding the breath, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four, holding the breath, two, three, four, breathing in, two, three, four, holding, two, three, four, breathing out, two, three, four, holding, two, three, four, breathing in, and keep on going on yourself, count on yourself, and go on yourself, and... You can prolong this, you can count to 6 or 8 or 10 or 12 or 16 
any number you like, any number that feels good to you. Try it out yourself. And this breathing exercise is really calming. So if you're really nervous, maybe in f before a big uh, school test or examination, then um, you can do this breathing and it will calm you down and it will bring you back to your body and to, this pre to the present moment and you, you will just do your best and that's good enough. So now I talked a lot. <laughs> and the next time we breathe in, in this breathing technique, we just release the breath. And come back to your natural black breath. Then lie on the floor. Feet are going outwards. Feet are outwards. Hands are in the sky. And just lay uh, pointing towards the sky. Palms are open into the sky. And just lay back. And just be here. And we'll lie just around. Two, three minutes on the floor and I will get you back to your body in two, three minutes. Just keep lying on the floor, close your eyes and just be... Slowly start to deepen your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. Come back to your body and bring the knees up to your body. Shift yourself to either left or right, like falling with the knees to the right side body, with your whole body to the side body. Releasing there all the muscles again, releasing the head, checking in with the tongue, the neck, the chest, the shoulders especially. The belly, the thighs, the lower leg, the feet, the toes, everything released and breathing deeply 
and feel carried by the earth, connecting to the ground again here. Land again after flying high. Breathing deeply one time, one more time deep in. And then lift yourself up through the side. Come to a final sitting pose. Bring the hands in front of your heart. Breathing deeply in and Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night ahead of you. Thanks for practicing with me. You can open your eyes, release the hands here. And I'm, I'm also on YouTube. I'm also on Twitch. So if you're watching this on YouTube, <laughs> I'm teaching daily uh, from 7 to 7.40 Central Euro European time. And I'm just doing what I love here. Yes. Sharing some love with, with the world, in a way, with the internet, with the world. Let's say with the world. So, have a wonderful day. See you soon. Yeah.